But here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. And you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a tee, to be fair. It has hosted so many big-time finals, this Pat de Pras, including 1998, the UEFA Cup final, when Inter beat Lazio. Yeah, I remember that. I also remember playing here against PSG. I remember the pitch not being great back then, but looks very special now. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting eleven. Joel Matty plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And leading the attack today is the ultimate pressing machine, Roberto Firmino. Will there be a tangible end product? And Mohamed Salah now. Competence from the keeper. Yeah, concentration for goalkeepers. He was spot on there. Corner awarded to Liverpool. Played into the centre of the box. Is he going to punish them here? A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. And the corner for Liverpool. Fabinho, Henderson, can he give them the lead? He's unable to take the chance, and he'll be disappointed here. Well, nil-nil, it should be one-nil, it really should. Origi. We wondered if a goal was forthcoming, but it has arrived now. Well, finally, the deadlock has been broken. Not long to go now. How will that affect the opposition? Well, when we see this again, it is a wonderful effort, a solo effort. Got to question the defenders. They just back off him, and he takes full advantage. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. There goes the final whistle and maximum points tonight for Liverpool. Yeah, only just Derek, wasn't it? But it was a good performance, really good game to watch as well. I really enjoyed that. Just edged it in all departments in the end. The coach would be really happy.